so I'm recording again. And where was I? So, oh yeah. So, what was the last thing you guys heard that I don't? Like Ten to thirty convos at once. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I don't get hung up on notes. Okay. So, I have all these conversations going on, and then when I get a yes, I give all I give my all into helping that person. Okay. And then once that person has signed on with the challenge pack or whatever, I replace that person with another convo going. So I constantly had, you know, uh, you know, a uh, flow of people that I'm talking to. Um, and then this is just the last little piece. So I just want to say, at, this is this is harsh. This is a little harsh. Average behaviors bring average results. That is the dark reality. Okay. So you got to 10x your shit. I'm telling you that right now, because if you believe in the fact that you can hit outrageous goals, you really, really, truly believe that, then if something happens in November that throws you for a week or you get sick or something happens with your kids or something, you're still going to reach something far beyond what your original expectation was. So, and I wish I had created a PowerPoint, but I wanted you guys to write down goals for yourself in six different categories. And the goals, we can really, I guess you can just get through like the rest of this month or maybe for next month. And then I also do like my end of the year goals and I do my summit goals. And they are, and you probably want to write this down too. Number one, my success club goal for the month. I have that like at the very beginning and I know what it is. I keep it right in my face. Number two, the number of coaches that I want to add to my family that month. Number three, personal development, what book I'm currently reading and when I want to finish it by or whatever I'm listening to and when I want to finish it by. Number four, how many weekly invites I'm going to do within that month or the end of the year or whatever. Number five, the number of social media posts I'm going to do every single day. And at number six, the program that I'm working through and the date of completion. Um, the last thing, that's my very last thing that I just want to say, Josh said this and I absolutely love this. He said, if you're committed to helping people and you do the right thing, life is going to be really awesome for you. And it is so true. So just live your mission, guys. And this is going to rock your socks off. Rock your socks off. And that's it. So what amazing. This is so good. Yeah. I literally yeah. took four pages of notes. Oh my God, that's so awesome. I'm filled and <laughs> ass. I'm rolling and scrolling with notes. Oh, so good. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys got any questions about anything, I got you. <laughs> I do actually have a question for you. So, everything you're doing on Instagram, I love that you said set your goal as recruiting one new coach a week. And then I love how you were like, okay, let that sink in. Because I imagine a lot of you guys were like me where I was like, oh, like one coach a week. But it's true. Like it can happen. So like mm -hmm. I guess I'm wondering like how much success are you finding when you're meeting people on Instagram and throwing out the coach invite before they're a challenger? So I have to be honest with you. I haven't directly – send a coach invite to somebody on Instagram. I'm literally switching them over to Facebook and then talking to them on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of feel it out. Like some of the girls that I've been talking to are like runners or involved in fitness. And like some of them are in our group right now, actually, Jen. So I'm just letting them feel that out, you know? Um, yeah. I try not to have too much of a sense of urgency because people feel that and they get very put off, you know? Yep. Um, I'm so, a huge believer in that too. I think everyone has to have their right timing. Totally. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like, you know, you, you got to feel people out. You can't, you can't cookie cutter every single, you can't use th that exact script for every single person you talk to. You have to, like, you really have to like feel them out, you know, get to know people. Yeah. It's really about getting to know people, you know, and actually that I'm finding. So when I started hitting the like bottom of the barrel with my Facebook friends, I was so scared. I was like, this is it. This is it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Cut me off. But now I'm having all these conversations with people that I have no idea who they are. And it's really fun. It's like fun. You find these people that you like actually connect with and like share these same feelings with and everything. You know, all these people from a hole in the wall. Now you're connecting with them through like beach body. It's the coolest freaking thing to like build new friendships, you know? Um, and they're like real friendships. They're based on like solid real things. So I, I actually love it now. I love talking to people that I don't know and just being like, hey yeah. girl, you know? Oh. <laughs> I think Instagram is so much easier to start conversations than Facebook is. It is, yeah. And you can see all their stuff like flat out, you know? So you get their vibe a lot easier from Instagram. 
Yeah. I feel like I looked like a ghost. I just turned off my light now. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I think on Instagram, people are like looking to expand their network. Other people are too. So you, it's easier. I don't yeah. find that at all on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree with that. I've been actually, I don't know if I've told you this, I've been following someone who's a beach body coach for like two and a half years on and off, but I never joined her thing because I don't know. I, yeah, so you did it, it and I know you, it's that whole thing, but I would have, I kind of had thought about it and I had started blogging a little bit and had been posting back and forth. Like she was posting on my blog and I was posting on hers, but then I gave up blogging. I don't know. I just, we, I had a lot going on with kids and stuff and I kind of dropped out of it. So I kind I of, know you. Know. that's another thing too, for people with objections that are like, Hey, you know, there's beach body coaches everywhere. Like they're taking over the market. Like I'm like, guess what? You've got a huge pool of people who would much rather work with you than they would, than they would work with me. You know, they don't know me from a hole in the wall. They trust you. Yeah. It's a person. And then you find your stride and then, you know, then you start doing things like I'm doing. But that's like, that's where you build your confidence. You know, that's where you build up your momentum in this business is through the people that trust you and like getting a feel for this whole thing. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about that too with like saturation or whatever. But then I was also thinking people who have like a gym membership or go running or whatever, they can also do beach body because you, you fill in the gaps. Cause that actually used to be my biggest problem with running. And like, there's plenty of things that everybody has like Netflix or, mm -hmm. you know, it mm -hmm. is healthier. So yeah. yeah, I had to think through that whole thing. Cause I was a little worried about that. I'm like, I, I see a lot of blogs and a lot of people out there are already beach body. but then I talk to people and they have no idea what I'm talking about I'm like, okay. exactly I there's mean think about it Mary there's like billions of people on this planet like there's no way that it's like but it's actually there's always going to be people to talk to there's always going to be people to talk to and think yeah. and, and there's tons of people about, who are not fit also. yeah <laughs> and then you think about the people yeah. that like actually need this that are like right. overweight and need a better lifestyle you know like there's an obesity epidemic. That's a real thing. Exactly. I mean, how crazy was it when we were on our retreat? We went paddle boarding and like literally Carly just starts talking to the paddle board instructor like about coaching and like he wants to coach. Like wow. random. Yeah. Yeah. So crazy. Yeah, it was so cool. Like literally anywhere. Like literally he got like our contact information and was like, how do I sign yeah. up? How he was do like, how do I sign up for this coaching thing? That's awesome. <laughs> He like showed up and he was doing push ups and pull ups like outside the place. Yeah. That's okay. We'll work on him. We'll get him some personal development. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, I don't, if you guys don't have any other questions, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I, this was like a very long call, but um, you can always feel free to reach out to me too if like you ever want to bounce things off of me or anything. I'm always open to like learning and picking up new ideas and stuff like that too. So. And I, I'm a sharer, so I'll tell you everything. I'm totally transparent. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, totally. I loved it. I love you guys. Oh. love you guys. So <laughs> I'm going to go. I'll talk to you soon, though. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.